Hi everybody. I have the prop on temporarily just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. I have the tips painted yellow. So those are going to look good once this thing's rotating. Problem. <laughs> the engine has to come off again. That engine mount is not going to work because I have to take the actual thing that the prop is connected to, which is called the gearbox. I got to flip it around. I got to turn it 180 degrees. So where the prop is now, it's going to be down, I don't know, maybe eight inches lower. And it'll be closer to where this, this is, this tubing for the wing. It'll be down in line with that when I'm finally done with it. But the, the problem is the manufacturer, Dennis Carley of Aerolite 103, said that it has to be in line with this line here. Just imagine this is an imaginary line. It's, it's not imaginary at this point because you can see it. But there's an imaginary line that goes right through the wing. They call it the cord line. Okay. It has to get as, as close as possible to the engine's propeller thrust line, which is coming out of this little hole right here. Just imagine this little hole is a laser beam coming straight out. That's called the thrust line. So the little laser beam thrust line has to go down to where the cord line is. So it'll be an efficient engine propeller combination. Right, right at this point, it is inefficient. And it will work, it'll fly, but it will be weird. And it won't fly like it's supposed to. So according to Dennis Carley, I got to do what I got to do. That said, <laughs> I got to remove the wings again. All this work to put the wings on, all the, the sweat and, and dripping sweat, literally, that James and I did to try to put these wings on was presumptuous. Too soon. So now I got to buy a $250 engine mount from Aerolite Manufacturing discard the $400 Challenger mount that I've already used, so it's basically useless. I wasted 400 bucks, poof, up in the air. And I got to get a new mount. Remove the motor, flip over the, the uh, gearbox 180 degrees, put the new mount on. I got to drill some holes in the new mount, which is why the wings need to come off. And then once I, did, once I get the mount s set up, and torque down, put the engine back on, and then we're ready to go. But at this point, I'm, I have to back step. So, not a happy camper at all. Because this will be, well, this is like the third time we've had the engine up here, hoping that it was like the last time, and it's not. So, that said, I'll end this for now. And I'll give you an update when I have one. Talk to you later.